Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now before I return to Egypt for a video this weekend, I want to cover just a couple more Ancient America sites. Today we are going down to the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter, and there was some work done here just last week, and this is a place I've always wanted to do a video on. Now obviously you can't see anything here from Google Earth, so just, let's just read. This is Trib Live. I will leave the link below. It says, Archaeologists probe oldest, deepest part of Meadowcroft Rock Shelter. It says, University of Cambridge doctoral student Delvin Gandhi surveys a section of the deep hole at Meadowcroft Rock Shelter in Avala on Wednesday, August 28, 2019. Here is archaeologist James Adovosio with Mr. Gandhi here down deep in the hole at Meadowcroft. Now this site, I think it's about 28 miles southwest of Pittsburgh. It was discovered in 1973 and work done back then pushed human habitation here back almost 20,000 years. And back in 1973, Mr. Otto was the first one to excavate the site. The two plan to collect sediment samples and possible human DNA this week from the rock shelter's deep hole, the deepest and oldest part of the site. On Wednesday, Otto and Gandhi climbed into the rock shelter, scampering over temporary wooden bridges to survey possible locations to sample bedrock. The DNA will be tested and could unlock new information about when humans first lived in North America from the historic site. He says that they are hoping this particular enterprise will add another bit of knowledge about the site, another piece of information that here there too we might not have access to. It says Meadowcroft Rock Shelter, a National Historic Landmark, was first discovered as one of the first sites of human habitation in North America when a Washington County farmer found a prehistoric tool in what seemed to be a groundhog hole in 1955. The rock shelter was a campsite for early hunter-gatherers nearly 19,000 years ago. According to Gandhi, there are many theories for how people came to populate the Americas and occupy Meadowcroft. The early dates at Meadowcroft indicate that they didn't come through the interior of the continent, which would have been under miles of ice. But it seems like some pretty big questions are trying to be answered here, or at least trying to get part of the answer. It says, through the studies, a line of over 16,000 years of environmental records was found that included climatic changes, plant and animal changes. The record then provided information on how humans adjusted through these times. It appears, as it did in the early 70s, that people were at this spot before they were supposed to be in the New World. But I just thought this was pretty interesting. I've always wanted to do a story on Meadowcroft. We have human habitation going back here, maybe 19,000, 20,000 years. What do we really know about humans in North America a long time ago? Well, now besides the article that just came out last week, this is a website, Atlas Obscure. I have used them before. And they did a story on this, and I will leave the link to this below. But what did they find down here? Well, they found a basin that had been used for a long, long time, a ceremonial basin. They described it. They also found flint from Ohio, jasper from eastern Pennsylvania. And they also found shells from Florida in here. So just how far back did this trade network go? Well, that's a big unanswered question in my eyes. I've always wanted to do a story about Meadowcroft. I think I have mentioned it, but this work is going on just into last week. But it seems like old theories kind of go by the wayside and new good work opens up the possibility that humans have been around North America for tens of thousands of years. So that is the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter and the story of this site. I will probably have one more video here for you today. Just a quickie I made the other night when uh, my brother was watching political news, and I just can't do it. So I thought I'd do something a little more fun, maybe stick a fork in my face or something else, so I made a video. And that two-minute video on an ancient site will be coming out a little later today. Just set to music. Hope you thought this was cool, and you all have a very nice day.